Hi everyone, how are you doing? So I ran a poll on my Instagram the other day to see if anyone would be interested in a video showing how I do my plant cuttings and I was quite surprised that so many voted yes and here we are. So I'm usually pretty useless with plants and by no means know all the correct terminologies or even if I'm doing it right but this is the method I use and so far I've had successful results each time. To give you an idea of what to expect, this plant here was a tall as the one I'm going to be working from today however it was very leggy and lacked in leaves around the bottom so I decided to try cutting it to see if I could propagate the stem cuttings. These two at the back here were cuttings from that plant and you can see how well not just these ones are doing but the original plant where these cuttings came from too. I ended up with about five cuttings in total and after a few weeks all had grown their own roots and I was able to transfer them into their own pots. This is the plant I'm going to be working with today. It's the same plant as the one I've done already, but as you can see, it's getting very big and it's starting to grow outwards, meaning it ends up being too heavy on one side. And where the leaves are quite large, it's getting a little crowded. The soil I use depends on what I can get at the time. This one was ordered off Amazon a few weeks back when the shops were closed and it's a house plant potting mix. Since the cuttings are only going to be in their temporary accommodation for a short period of time, I'm using an empty butter tub that has been washed up to remove anything that was left in the tub and my last lot were in an ice cream tub so you really don't need any fancy equipment to give this a try. Once you're set with your tub filled with soil, get your plant and try and work out where you want to cut it. As this stem was growing outwards, I decided to cut it from the bottom. Make sure you're not accidentally cutting through any of the leaves and it's probably best if you have a pair of secateurs to hand or at least sharp scissors so you don't damage the plant when you're cutting it. This stem bends so I cut the bent part to make one section and then with the remaining longer bit I just cut it in half. So I had three pieces come from that one stem. If the leaves were too close to the bottom, I carefully peeled them away and I'll save them to put them in the tub along with the cuttings later. Something I forgot to mention earlier, but you don't need a lot of soil or a tub that's really deep. You just want about an inch so the roots have some space for growth. Once you have your cuttings, pop them into the tub. They don't need to go deep into the soil, otherwise the roots won't have space to grow. Just sit them on top and if you need to, use the edge of the pot to help keep them upright. The leaves work the same way. The leaves will end up looking really shriveled after a couple of weeks, but don't worry, this is how mine have looked in the past and they've still grown roots. Bear with them, they'll hopefully start to sprout. You might find that not all of the leaves do and that's fine. I try about 10 leaves and sometimes only half of them actually do anything. It's a bit hit and miss but it's worth giving it a go. One thing to make sure of is if you're using the tub like I am here, don't overwater the tub. I just add a small amount of water every couple of days when I notice the soil getting a little dry. You could pierce holes in the bottom for drainage if you're afraid of overwatering and the roots rotting. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it somewhat helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to either leave a comment below or reach out to me on Instagram. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. For now though, stay safe and I'll catch you later. Bye!